everybody in today's video i'm going to be sharing some polishes that were sent to me as pr for november's polish pickup this month's theme is going to be game night and the shop goes live friday november 5th through monday november 8th i did not live swatch um these polishes but i do have some pictures and i want to share some thoughts and then after i share these three polishes that i have i want to get into my wish list for this month's polish pickup um i have been mia you guys i completely apologize i've had a lot of personal things going on and i have not been swatching i have not been filming i haven't even been painting my nails honestly this is the first mania i've put on in a really long time so um welcome back to me welcome back to you and let's talk polish pickup first polish i have to share with you guys is from coloristic carol this polish is called every letter counts and this is inspired by scrabble deluxe edition board game this is a blackened multi-chrome red with iridescent chameleon flakies this will have a cap of 300 and you guys oh my gosh this is so beautiful like so 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 beautiful um it's sexy, it's vampy, it's fall. It's like the most beautiful flaky bomb. It has a beautiful formula. I did find that this wanted to dry a touch on the matte side, but once I put my glossy top coat on, OMG people, the like, ugh, the flakes and the glow and the vamp and just all of it. If you are obsessed with um, these very like deepened um, wine colors, I really think you guys would enjoy this. I was obsessed with it. I feel like I wore a lot of this kind of colors in the fall and I feel like this type of polish complements them very well. And then I have on like sort of similar color lipstick and makeup and I just feel like this really completes the look. And so um, gorgeous, gorgeous polish, you guys. You cannot go wrong with this one. Um, I was obsessed. Next up, I have Moonshine Manny's I Do Declare. This is inspired by the murder mystery party on the murder episode of The Office and the way Michael can't stop saying I do declare. This is a pink to violet solar polish with a strong red to gold glow and there will be a cap of $200. Um, so I did not read the description on this before I swatched it and I don't have both color shifting states because I don't. Um, but Phoebe does, so I'll show them to you guys on her. Um, it goes to this purple, I guess, after you're out in the sun. All of my swatches are going to be in the pink state that you see in the bottle, but I do apologize for that. But you can always check out Phoebe's swatches to see that kind of shift. Um, my older son is obsessed with The Office. He's watched like every episode multiple times. I'm not obsessed with it. What I have watched, I do enjoy, but I'm not sure what particular episode this is. I don't think I've seen it. But this had a little bit of a thinner formula. Um, it has some really beautiful glow and shimmer that does show up on the nail. I did swatch three coats plus glossy top coat and I did still have visible nail line. So I do want to let you guys know that. Maybe after you get the solar effect, the visible nail line seems less visible. I'm not for sure. But um, a solar polish is something interesting. I don't think I've seen many of these on Polish Pickup. If you like pink like I love pink, I think this pink is really gorgeous. And um, I don't think I've been telling you all price because I'm not used to filming. Price on this will be $12.50. Price on the Clotus de Carol will be $12.50. Um, but overall, this was really cute. If you like anything that kind of transitions or has any kind of effect, you may be interested in this. And that was Moonshine Manny's I Do Declare. And then last up, I have Peach Tree Polish, and this is going to be Let's Shoot Some Pool. Um, this will be $12. This is inspired by billiards because I played pool a lot in my 20s. The polish is representation of pool balls. A white crelly with matte glitters in rainbow colors, red, green, yellow, blue, purple, and orange. There's also a few black glitters to represent the eight ball. There will be a cap of 100 on this. This is a really cute crelly, you guys. Um, I like the different sizes of glitters in it. I like that they're matte. I like the bigger size. I think it's just really fun. One thing I will say is I highly recommend putting this upside down for a few minutes before you polish or sticking it in a pro shaker if you have a pro shaker just to really get the glitters to come out towards the um, top part of the bottle so that you can get them on the nail. I also think that the formula on this was a touch on the sheer side. So next time I wear it, I may put one coat of either like a... Um, visible nail line blur base coat or like a white and then layer this two coats on top to kind of still get the sandwich effect but it is really cute it is really fun you guys know i love a glitter crelly um i really have been enjoying peach tree polish i've swatched for her for a couple months and i feel like a lot of the polishes are really really fun and i feel like this is an underrated brand because you don't hear a lot of people um 
talking about it or at least I don't and I don't see a lot of people posting about it on Instagram either so I just want to say that I have been very impressed with this brand so super cute polish I love pool um my cousins had a pool table when they were little and one of my cousins actually got really good at like pool and pool trick shots and stuff and we always thought that was super cool I suck at pool but <laughs> it just takes me back to my childhood a little bit and I thought it was really cute so this again was let's shoot some pool from peach tree polish so now um, I'm going to go into the very chatty wish list portion of my video. So if you don't like chattiness, you might want to click off. If you do like chattiness, definitely stick around. So I have seven items on my wish list for this month. I'm just going to show you what they are on my phone. I just show you the pictures of them on my phone and then we kind of just chit chat why I like them. And then you guys help me usually narrow down my wish list. So I'm hoping to get two to three polishes this month. I really have no business getting any, but there is some really cute ones and so... Again, I need your help. So first one is going to be from Crystal Knockout, and this is called Giggle, and this will be $11. And um, you guys, look at that. So cute. It's a really cute pink. Um, I really enjoy that. And it's inspired by something I really, really like. So this one is going to be $11. This is inspired by... This is inspired by the game Girl Talk. So if y'all are like 80s, 90s babies, or more 80s babies, I'm going to say, you will know about the game Girl Talk. Um, me, my sister, and my cousins would play this like nonstop, endlessly, 24-7. Every sleepover party either had Mall Madness or Girl Talk as part of it. If you guys have played these games, message me down below. Let me know I'm not alone. <laughs> um, but I really feel like she hits the inspiration show so good. Like the color matches the box and like the picture on it. There's like a little phone and um i'm just feeling it it's making me totally nostalgic and um i'm all about it so this is a bright pink jelly base with holographic and golden shimmer holographic micro glitter matte dot glitters in blue pink in blue purple and pink and glitter stars in holographic silver and matte turquoise um you guys know i love fun shaped glitters sometimes that does make polish a little hard to apply the only thing that i worry about so here's another swatch the other the only thing i worry about is how sheer is this on the nail because some swatch pictures look really sheer and some don't but i'm not opposed to wearing this as a topper over a similar color pink because you all know i love pink or it may be sheer enough that you could wear it as a topper over like black or something like that super super cute fun inspiration my type of polish um i have one crystal shimmer i believe or maybe two and the brand is nice i did enjoy the polishes i have from them um and i do like the price 11 dollars. so that is number one on my wish list next up i have night owl lacquers wordy birdie and this type of gray green blue is sort of like my thing in the fall but i do feel like it's a little bit gray um, compared to blue green which is more of my favorite but let me show you guys so pretty so this will be 1260 which is a random price I'm wondering if that's a typo and maybe it's supposed to be 1250 but anyway this is inspired by the game a little wordy word type games are my favorite this is a gray tinged with blue filled with black red copper gold flakes um there is no cap on this so I was right this the main color in this is predominantly a gray and i'm not always obsessed with gray polish i will say that grays are hit or miss for me um but i like that it has this like sort of bluish green feel which i do like i like the flakies um but then i wonder do i have stuff similar and then i'm not sure what wordy birdie or little wordy i don't know what word what what game that is i don't play a lot of games on my phone or anything so i'm not sure but it's just like perfect for fall you guys i can see myself wearing this in fall in winter um and it just seems very like chic and pretty so let me know what you think about that one next up mm, this is from painted polish and this is hail to the queen you guys shut the front door that is the most beautiful I call it a pretty ugly you guys may not think so but it's very pretty ugly to me this is inspired by psychedelic purple and orange chest set it's a tiger orange crelly with purple metallic flakies there will be a 350 bottle cap and this will be 1250 one thing i am not loving about this listing is this is the only swatch picture these types of colors are very hard for um i feel like skin tones to pull off in the mid-tone range so i know for me i would like to see this on someone similar to my skin tone just to get an idea of how it would look 
Um, so that does disappoint me a bit. I know Painted Polish sends to a ton of swatches and maybe they just didn't get the swatch pictures um, loaded up onto the website. So I'm definitely going to go look in the pack and see if um, other people have swatched it because I know V swatches for her and I'm trying to think of the mid-tone swatches she uses and I can't. But I'm going to go check it out because I really am interested in this. Um, usually if it were another brand, I wouldn't work this hard to find a swatch in my <laughs> skin tone and I would just be like, done, out, later. Um, but for this one, I think I'm going to look. So it's just really pretty, you guys. Really, really pretty. Um, I feel like I have something similar with flakies, but the flakies aren't purple. And maybe that's what's drawing me in. I feel like I have a lot of similar colors to this actually on my fall rack. And then I'm like, maybe I can just put a topper on it. I don't know. It is super gorgeous though. And very unique, I feel. Next up, I feel like this is a definite must have for me. This is Polish for Days As You Pass Go. This will be $12.50. You guys, look at that. This is inspired, as you all may have guessed, by... I'm trying to find... I always love Paya swatches. She can make me buy anything. I'm not even lying. Like, I see it on her and I'm like, done, take my money. Um, and so, V also had some really pretty swatches of this. Let me see if I can find them. Hmm. I guess V's didn't make it on the listing, but V had it on Instagram and it was really pretty on her. So, this is inspired by Monopoly board. Um, this is a mint green Crowley base with purple, pink, gold, shifting chrome flakies. There is no cap. Um, I just think this is gorgeous, you guys. Someone swatched it matte. It's amazing. Uh, I like this type of shade. I feel like it's very much my type of color. I like the flakies in it. I feel like it's something a little bit different from Polish for Days because they tend to do the flaky bombs but in more like of a jelly type base instead of a cream base. And so, um... I think I really need this one. Everyone and their mothers played Monopoly too. Um, when we were little, we played Monopoly and then we would just give up because it's like, we've been playing Monopoly for 100 years. Like somebody needs to win. Um, I don't want to die playing Monopoly. Like I'm 10 years old and this game might end when I'm 95 and I might have Boardwalk and I might not. And so <laughs> that is one thing about Monopoly I don't like is I feel like it takes so, 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 so long. It's like, oh my God, enough already. Um, but I remember playing that a lot as a kid as well. And so, um, again, very nostalgic, but um, just a beautiful polish as well. Next up, this is so freaking cute. This is a Restored by Polish. What are you, a vampire? And this will be $11, you guys. Look at that. So it kind of reminds me of a candy cane. Um, there's kind of reminds me of a candy cane, which... We're getting ready for Christmas, so heck yes. Um, and this is inspired by the dog scene in the movie Game Night. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. What Are You a Vampire is a white Crowley with red holographic shreds and red matte squares. It's opaque in two coats, but better. But for better glitter payoff, three may be desirable. There is a cap of 100. And I really do say that I think this could sell out because... It's just festive, you guys. It's festive. You know people are into festive polishes. You know people are into festive crellies. People being me. I am people. Um, I want this really, really bad. So this is probably my second must-have. Um, and that leaves room for one more. If I go for three. If I only go for two, I think Polish for Days and this might be it. But it's so cute. Restored by Polish is another brand that I don't hear a lot of buzz about. I have collaborated with them in the past um, on a depression and anxiety awareness duo. I've swatched, um, I've purchased from them and I've worn a few of the polishes and I really do enjoy them. So if you have not tried Restored by Polish, I highly recommend them. Um, they are kind of new to the game, but the formulas are really good. Um, and overall, I've been impressed. So I do just want to say that with, for you guys. If you're on the fence, um, I enjoy the brand. Next up is from Zombie Claw. And this is All Be The Guitarist. Um, this swatch picture really drew me in. I feel like the lighting here is going to be a little bit... Um, uh, like when you put on an Instagram filter and you're catfishing everybody. I feel like this is a catfish swatch. No offense to the swatcher. It's a beautiful swatch. It completely like grabbed me by the neck and pulled me in. But I feel like when I get this on my hands, it's not going to be like that. And so I'm kind of like be a little re realistic, like reel it back. Um, and I feel like this swatch is giving me more of what we are going to get, which is beautiful, by the way, as well. Um, 
but I want to see this in more of like a natural light and maybe that's what I'm looking for more um overall it's still really gorgeous this is going to be $12 this is inspired by rock band a rocking purple blue with hollow flakies um just super pretty you guys really fun I always am really drawn to these purples and then I feel like I have them in my collection and then I just I don't wear them often I don't know why <laughs> because I'm insane that's why but um this sort of reminds me of like sinful colors um let's talk but with like hollow and then I'm like is this close to Zoya's um oh my gosh the holographic Zoya the purple I can't think of the name right now off the top of my head I do have that I have not ever worn it which oh my gosh hang my head in shame but I'm like is it similar enough that I don't need both I don't know um so there's that but that is on my wish list for $12 then um the last item is not polish related but this is super cute so this is from zra jewelry christmas stocking earrings they're 11 dollars, you guys if those are not the most adorable things i've ever seen on the face of the earth then nothing is adorable um i bought the halloween um dia de los muertos earrings that they put out and i never wore them i don't even know why again because i'm insane but look at how cute those are I bought all kinds of holiday, um, I bought all kinds of like holiday Christmas dresses when this store near me was closing and I'm basically gonna plan to look like an elf for maybe a couple of weeks out of December and I feel like this goes with that, like this goes in the elf theme. Um, I also bought myself another Christmas tree and I'm planning to put up two six foot Christmas trees in my house, maybe one in my living room and one in my bedroom or two in my living room, I'm not sure yet, which would make four trees for my bedroom. And then I bought all kinds of cute decorations at Dollar General. I'm like ready for the holidays this year. I'm ready to be Will Ferrell and Alf. <laughs> and I feel like these helped me achieve that goal. So um, these are $11, super cute. The Dia de los Muertos were really cute. Like the colors are bright, the glitter is really fun. And so these just look super fun, you guys. So that is everything on my polish pickup wish list and everything I was sent for PR. Let me know if any of the PR stuff I have is on your wish list this year. Um, let me know what's on your wish list this year and help me like talk down my wish list. I need to either get two or three, like I was telling you. Um, earrings don't count, or earrings do count towards the count just because um I have to be pretty conscious of what I'm spending right now. And so that's where I'm at. Let me know um, if you guys are excited for this month's Polish Pickup. I will link the website um, down below for Polish Pickup. I will have all the information for Polish Pickup down below. And I'll have the camp I'll have the cap information for the PR polishes I was sent. Um, that's it for this video, you guys. If you liked it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Thanks, you guys, for always coming back after my long, super extended breaks. Hopefully, those long, super extended breaks get shorter and shorter and shorter. And I start painting my nails again and swatching and getting back to some regular content because I miss talking about polish. I miss you guys. That is it, you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing evening and I will see you on the next video. Bye!